So, so my, it's very easy for me to, you know, to uh, uh, make bets. I don't need to know you know, deep technology. Yeah. So now I need to know if this guy is real. Entrepreneur is real. Yeah. Is he sharp enough entrepreneur? Is he sharp enough technologies? Yeah. So I need to you know, verify that one in some fashion. And yeah, then he starts say, hey, yeah, he went to IIT, he went to CMU, he went to Stanford. Yeah, he worked for yeah, yeah, do those. So you know, so he knows his shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, what he doesn't know is how to sell, how to manage, how to hire people, how to yeah, how to yeah. Yeah, you know, build it up. Me, I'll teach him that. So, so the, you know, so, so I learn a lot more than I teach when I mentor people. You remind me of something. Uh, I don't know if you agree to it, but so Mark Cuban has referred to a word of uh, being a wantrepreneur versus being an entrepreneur. Mm. I don't know if you've heard of that before, but I think my understanding is there's an idea you want to be an entrepreneur and, and as long as chips fall on your place within an er, within a margin, you'll, you'll put in the hard work, but if it gets really tough, you might, you might stop doing it. And that's what he calls a entrepreneur versus entrepreneurs just going to go, 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 go. And, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I haven't heard that terminology, but, yeah. but that's the idea. See, I tell people, everybody wants to make money. Everybody wants to get rich. Everybody sees his friends are a bit of an entrepreneur. But, but that world puts you through a ringer. Two, three, four years of, you know, you're met in huge salary. You have a nice house, nice car, nice lifestyle. Yeah, you know, yeah, going to show dinners. And all of a sudden, you know, you have none of that. And you have sharp views. You know, and it puts you through a ringer. And you have to survive that. Yeah. So the way I describe to the uh, you end up being in the middle of the desert with very limited water, and you need to find a, your way out. Yeah. You know, some people just you know, you know, turn back and go where they started from. The others have to say, "Hey, I have to get to the other side," and, and they keep going. They keep going. Yeah. And, what and, are the and, patterns? Your sniff test. Um, yeah. Sure. IIT, the right MS, PhD, MBA from the right places. What's your sniff test? Uh, well, this if, has, you know, if, if you go and do the search on the internet, I, I wrote a paper called uh, Entrepreneurial Traits. Entrepreneurial, maybe I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll find it and send it to you. Yeah. The, you know, so I never know who's going to succeed. See, see you should have everything you, you, know, you want in a person. You know. a, a, he still has to make it work. Yeah. So there's intangibles that they are very hard to how to really, uh, otherwise everybody would, you know, be for my uh, IIT and uh, Stanford uh, will be vitamin entrepreneurs. So there are a couple of uh, you know, starting points. Only one to 2% of the population at large succeeds as entrepreneurs. No more than that. Uh, you know, the priority that number could be as much, has like 10%, no more than that. IITians are mostly professors, right? Yeah, they do their PhD and they become professors. Yeah, so so it, it, the, so there is this other side. You know, you more you specialize, less entrepreneurial you're going to be. Yeah, because your specialty has a huge value. You know, and 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 as you say, you get huge you know, you know, cash benefit right away. You know, the, the, but the problem with any and all specialty is unless you keep evolving and staying with the technology, your, spe your specialty starts to go obsolete. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, there's the old saying, yeah, the top students, yeah, become engineers, R&D people, yeah, the B students become managers, and C students become the CEOs and entrepreneurs. Yeah, because C students, you know, were not competitive in technology. In my case, I was. I was very competitive in technology. You know, but but they, their mind is wandering. They, they are thinking all over. So you, you know, so, you know, so my passion is economics and, and geopolitics. But but in India, you know, you know, your father says economics. What are you gonna do, right? So, so I didn't you know, do economics. I went to IIT because you know that's what you need to do to survive. But, you know, but I was a you know, very broad thinker, very broad doer, and and uh, and uh, the the 
you know, you need to bring sense of economics, you need to bring sense of marketing, you need to bring sense of finance, you need to set your know, sense of, of uh, being able to sell, or you know, that is still I should talk, tell you about, and then you need to bring the sense of technology. You know, so you need to understand the landscape. The number one thing you need to be able to do to succeed as an entrepreneur is to sell. To sell. Sell your idea to yourself. You know, so you leave your job. Sell, sell your, your dream to your wife so she will let you do it. Yeah, and, and sell yeah, 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 this half-baked idea to yeah, 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 some founders to come and work with you and leave their jobs. And then you have to sell this idea to you know, angel investors, species to uh, give you some money long before you have anything you know, to show. And then you have to go to the marketplace you know, with half-baked products and sell to the customers. Why don't you try this and, and I'll make it better for you over period. So yeah, you're always selling. You, you need to be very comfortable selling and you need to sell with the conviction. Yeah. So the selling is the, the core step. Yeah. So, so I can never tell who's going to succeed, but I can tell within 15 to 20 percent who is not going to succeed. Yeah, very yeah, with a high degree of confidence and high degree of accuracy. And, and that's what has uh, served me very, very well. So, so now I don't know who's going to succeed. If I can reject 90 percent of the guys, I don't think I'm going to not succeed. Then I have this richer mix of people that I invest in. Yeah, or more likely to succeed. And I never know who, which of those guys don't make it. There's an element of luck, there's an element of timing, there's, a, yeah, yeah, you, you name it. Yeah, in addition to yeah, everything else, yeah, yeah, that would go wrong. By the way, the difference between successful entrepreneur and a failed entrepreneur is very thin, very small. One wrong decision and you're done. I'm talking about the early days, early days. One right decision yeah, sets you, you know, <laughs> sets you on, on, the, on the path, right? Right, right, right. 